Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Science Studies and in this lecture we are going to study about the prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. In this image we can look for the diagram of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. In the diagram of prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell we can see for the different kind of components the prokaryotic cell toward the left side of the image we can see for a uh, flagella pili plasmid nucleoid that is a dna cell wall capsule whereas in eukaryotic cell we can see for the endoplasmic reticulum it may be a rough endoplasmic reticulum or a smooth endoplasmic reticulum Perioxysome for detoxification of the hydrogen peroxide, mitochondria for uh, respiration or for AT ATP generation, hocules, Golgi apparatus, and uh, intermediate filaments. Also, the nucleus, this whole part is a nucleus, it includes nucleolus, nucleoplasm, chromatin, and a nuclear envelope. If you look at to the this point or this part a uh, microfilament is there lysosome and microtubules the cytoplasm ribosome and presence of a plasma membrane these three components are the common component in between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell in this lecture we will see the introduction to prokaryotes and eukaryotes then next we will see the similarities between prokaryotes and eukaryotes and lastly we are going to see the differences in between prokaryotic and eukaryotes. What are the prokaryotes and eukaryotes? These are the two fundamental or a basic classes of a cell and this classification of a cell were given by the scientist Roger Y. Stenier and he classified the organism into the two types that means prokaryotes and eukaryotes and this differentiation or this distinguish by distinguished by on accordance to their size and the internal structures basically the presence of a nucleus or absence of nucleus. The prokaryotic organisms are more primitive to the eukaryotes. The prokaryotic organisms are present in this universe from a long times ago. And both the organisms, they share uh, many common characteristics. They share a property and they give uh, evidences on a, a endosymbiotic theory. Most of the eukaryotic cell are evolved from a prokaryotic ancestors. Today's chloroplasts are nothing but a blue-green algae and today's mitochondria are nothing but a uh, aerobic bacteria. The prokaryotic organisms are primitive and they are giving a evolution to a eukaryotic cell. Then we are going to see the similarities in between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. The cellular content, we call it as a cytoplasm and this cytoplasm is limited by a plasma membrane. If both the type of cells shows a cytoplasm as well as a plasma membrane. And the plasma membrane composed of a lipid bilayer and this lipid bilayer or a plasma layer is with an intermittent protein which can be classified as the, classified as a integral protein protein or uh, extrinsic protein Gen dna is a genetic material or it is a genetic information carrier in both the groups chemical composition of the nucleic acid dna and rna and their organization that means uh, presence of a nucleotide is similar in uh, both the groups the process of transcription means formation of messenger rna from dna Process of translation, formation of proteins from uh, mRNA and uh, DNA replication 
formation of exact copy of DNA. These three processes, transcription, translation and DNA replication are same in both the cells. Both the group possess a regulation of expression of genetic information. The expression means the particular gene is get converted into a protein or a sequence of amino acid and this expression show, is showed by both the organisms. The mRNA that is a messenger RNA is acts as an intermediate molecule between genetic information and their expression that means a proteins. Both the organisms show such kind of a central dogma of life DNA to RNA and RNA to the protein. This central dogma is present in both the cells. Proteins are expressed from a genetic makeup of the cell and this such kind of expression is found in both the groups. All the 20 protein coding amino acids are similar in both the organisms. All the 61 corners are similar in both the organisms. Also, the termination corners or a top codons UAA, UAG and UGA are similar in both the groups. Also, the structure of transfer RNA is similar in both the group. The metabolic pathway such as glycolysis or a EMP pathway and a tricarboxylic acid cycle are similar in both the prokaryotes and eukaryotes. The metabolic pathway are multi-step process and for each and every step in a metabolic pathway is characterized by a particular enzyme or a special kind of protein that is enzyme and such metabolic pathway with help, the, with help of enzyme is present in both pro and eukaryotes. ATP is an energy currency in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes. ATP is produced by use of a proton or a H plus ion gradient. Photosynthesis is similar in both the prokaryotes and eukaryotes. The blue-green algae or the cyanobacteria are only prokaryotes which shows a process of photosynthesis and uh, plants which are included in the eukaryotes they also show a photosynthesis but this overall process of photosynthesis is similar in the both the type of organism the photo photosynthesis consists of two processes light dependent light reaction and second one is the light independent dark reaction or a night reaction proteasomes the proteasomes are a particular kind of proteins which cleaves a peptides of a large protein and such proteasomes are with a similar structure and their work or their working is same in both the organisms. The next, the differences in between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Overall, the biological process events and organizations are similar in both the prokaryotes and eukaryotes although the components and the interactions related with this organization process and event are vary in both the organisms the major differences between pro and eukaryotes are summarized as follows starting from a first point the name pro pro means pre or it is Primitive carrier means nucleus. U means true, carrier means a nucleus. The prokaryotic organisms are originated about 3.5 billion years ago, whereas the eukaryotic organisms are originated about 1.2 billion years ago. It shows that the prokaryotic organisms are eld elder than the eukaryotic organism, not elder, older than eukaryotic organism. Prokaryotic organisms are primitive forms, whereas eukaryotic organisms are advanced forms. Prokaryotic organisms are usually unicellular, whereas eukaryotic organisms are multicellular in organization. Prokaryotic organism shows an incipient nucleus or true nucleus is absent, whereas in a eukaryotic organism there is a presence of true nucleus and it is with a nuclear membrane. About the size, the prokaryotic organisms having a very low size, it is 1 to 10 micrometer, whereas eukaryotic cells are larger in size, usually the size is 
फाइव टू हंड्रेड माइक्रोमीटर और समटाइम इट मे बी वेरी लार्ज और माइक्रोस्कोपिक सेवन पॉइंट द मेम्ब्रेन बाउंडेड ऑर्गेनल सच एज न्यूक्लियस माइट्रोकॉन्ट्रिया गॉल्गी बॉडीज क्लोरोप्लास्ट लाइसोजोम पेरियोक्सिजोम इंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम सच काइंड ऑफ मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड ऑर्गेनल्स आर अपसेंट इन अ प्रो कैरियर्स बट सच काइंड ऑफ मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड ऑर्गेनल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन अ यू कैरियोटिक ऑर्गेनिजम एंड दिज ऑर्गेनल्स हैविंग सिंगल और डबल मेम्ब्रेन सिस्टम एट पॉइंट जेनेटिक मटेरियल कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ सिंगल क्रोमोजोम इन अ प्रो कैरियोटिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स फेयर एज द जेनेटिक मटेरियल ऑफ यू कैरियोटिक ऑर्गेनिजम यूजली कंसिस्ट ऑफ मोर देन वन क्रोमोजोम नाइन पॉइंट द जेनेटिक मटेरियल इज फ्रीली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इन अ सेंट्रल पोर्शन ऑफ अ सेल एंड इट्स इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ न्यूक्लियो प्लाज्म फेयर एज द जेनेटिक मटेरियल इज लोकेटेड इन अ न्यूक्लियस इन केस ऑफ यू कैरिक ऑर्गेनिजम द प्रो कैरिक ऑर्गेनिजम शोज अ क्रोमोजोम विथ अ क्लो कोवरेंटली क्लोज सर्कुलर डी एन ए दैट इज अ सी सी डी एन ए कोवरेंटली क्लोज सर्क्युलर डी एन ए फेर एज द यू कैरिक क्रोमोजोम इट इज लिनियर डी एन ए नेक्स्ट पॉइंट द प्रो कैरिक ऑर्गेनिजम शोज अ सेल डिविजन बाय अ फिजन बर्डिंग एंड द माइटोसिस एंड मिओसिस आर अपसेंट द प्रो कैरिक ऑर्गेनिजम डिवाइड बाय अ फिजन और अ बर्डिंग माइटोसिस एंड मिओसिस प्रोसेस आर कंप्लीटली अपसेंट फेर एज इन अ यू कैरिक ऑर्गेनिजम सेल डिविजन इज बाय माइटोसिस एंड मिओसिस इन अ प्रो कैरिक ऑर्गेनिजम न्यूक्लियोलस इज अपसेंट फेर एज The eukaryotic organism shows a well developed nucleus. Next point, uh, ribosomes present in a prokaryotic organisms are of 70s type whereas the ribosome present in a eukaryotic organisms are of 80s type. The 70s ribosome of prokaryotic organism is with a two subunits that are 50s which is called a large subunit and a 30s that is a small subunit. Whereas The ATS ribosome of eukaryotic organism is with uh, two subunits, which is larger. 60s is a larger, whereas the 40s is a smaller. The next, the DNA of prokaryotic organism is naked and it is not with a histone protein. The histone protein are the basic protein, basic in nature, which are uh, used for a packaging of a DNA. Fair as such kind of histones are present in a dna of eukaryotic cell this histones having a role in a wrapping of dna or compaction of dna in a small space then next 15 point the endoplasmic reticulum is absent and hence the protein synthesizing ribosomes are freely distributed in a cytoplasm of prokaryotic organisms fair as in a eukaryotic organism there is a presence of endoplasmic reticulum so the protein synthesizing ribosome is usually attached to that er the internal membrane system is absent if it is present it is associated with a respiration and a photosynthesis for photosynthesis there is one example example of blue green algae or a cyanobacteria there is a one internal membrane system that is a chloroplast and in case of eukaryotic organism the internal membrane system is well developed and the cell organelles are surrounded by a single or double such membranes next point the flagella of prokaryotic organisms are with a simple organization they are made up of a flagellin protein fair as the flagella of eukaryotic organism are very complex in nature and they are with 9 plus 2 arrangement of a microtubule proteins the microtubules are absent in flagella in case of prokaryotic organism fair as the microtubules are present in a flagella of eukaryotic organism then next 19 point flagella are extracellular and this flagella are not enclosed by a cell surface membrane 
in case of prokaryotic organism whereas in case of eukaryotic organism flagella are intracellular and surrounded by cell surface membrane 20th point the cell wall of prokaryotic organism is composed of mucopolysaccharide or it is composed of peptidyl glycan but in case of eukaryotic organism cell wall if cell wall is present in a eukaryotic organism it is composed of cellular for example plants or it is composed of chitin for example fungi the animal shell shows a absence of cell wall 21 point organisms are haploid in nature contains only a single copy of genome whereas the eukaryotic organisms are usually diploid and some of them are a polyploid the polyploid organism contain two copies of genome one from each parent 22 point the plasmid that is a extra chromosomal genetic material is present in prokaryotic organism but such plasmid is absent rather than plasmid the autonomous genetic material like mitochondria and chloroplast are present in a eukaryotes the cytoskeletal system is absent in a prokaryotic organism whereas such system is well developed and present in a eukaryotes sexual reproduction is absent in a prokaryotic sexual reproduction is present in a eukaryotes process like transformation conjugation and transjection are present for a genetic material exchange in a prokaryotic organism all such process like transformation conjugation and transduction are absent in a eukaryotic organism and the genetic exchange occurs through a sexual reproduction next point in a prokaryotic organism respiration takes place by a help of mesosomes or with the help of cell membrane but in case of eukaryotic for respiration there is presence of mitochondria next point the chloroplast and mitochondria are absent in prokaryotic organism whereas chloroplast mitochondria are present and both of them are double membrane bound organelles which are autonomous and which are with its own genetic material next point photosynthesis takes place in the membrane system of a cytoplasm whereas membrane system of cytoplasm in a prokaryotic organism whereas in eukaryotic organism the photosynthesis takes place in a chloroplast and chloroplast contains a membrane stacks into a lamella or a stroma then next the nitrogen fixing capacity is present in some form of prokaryotic organism for example a bacteria like azotobacter rhizobium this bacteria can fix a atmospheric nitrogen into a ammonium and such property of nitrogen fixation present in a prokaryotic organism but no one prokaryotic organism has such property of a nitrogen fixation such property is completely absent in a eukaryotic organism then next endocytosis and phagocytosis are completely absent in a prokaryotic organism whereas endocytosis and a phagocytosis are present in a animal cells or some animal cells then next a cytoplasmic movement or a cyclosis is absent in a prokaryotic organism whereas cyclopla cytoplasmic movement or a cyclosis present in a eukaryotic organism next point well developed intracellular and extracellular communication system is absent in a prokaryotic organism whereas such communication system is well developed and it is advanced in case of eukaryotic organism the duration of cell cycle is about 20 to 60 minute in case of prokaryotic organism but it is a, a one day process and it is highly variable in case of eukaryotic organism next point the regulatory mechanism of a dna is simple in case of prokaryotic organism but it is complex in case of eukaryotic organism transcription and translation are a continuous process and these two process occur simultaneously in a cytoplasm because in this organism there is a absence of nucleus but the 
transcription and translation process are separate process transcription occurs in a nucleus whereas a translation occurs in a cytoplasm in eukaryotic cell uh, thank you very much thank you if you like my video please subscribe my channel like the video and share it thank you very much